Yo, welcome back for more scary videos. Today we'll be watching more Nuke's top five. So feel free to kick back, grab a snack, and enjoy. Tunnel vision. This next video was sent into popular Japanese ghost hunting team Clip Store by a man who claims that the footage was recorded by his now deceased older brother. The man says that his brother was a big fan of the paranormal. Okay. He has an encounter that is absolutely terrifying. Okay. They're just walking down the tunnel. Did you guys ever do this? I feel like, I don't know. A lot of people did this. Or do this, I guess. I don't, like for what reason? Was it, what, did it say that in the beginning? Did I just miss it? This guy's just walking down. I mean, there's no graffiti, that's cool. It's a clean looking tunnel besides the alien news that's coming out of the cracks. I literally would not have the balls to do this shit. I mean, I've been in some sketch places, but... Oh! Oh, hell no. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw After it. After the man hears a creepy, unexplained voice coming from right behind him, he quickly spins around to see an ominous dark figure standing right in front of him. I mean, shape that had not been there. it could be like a prop, before. but like it wasn't there. Like Absolutely I didn't see anywhere where it could have caught The makes a run for it. But the story gets even weirder. You guys are crazy. That's what I'm saying. I know you guys do this. You guys are fucking crazy. It's a video that he recorded before his death. Before so his death? Team tracks Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Pause. Everyone pause. Pause, 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 pause. He said before his death. The dude died after he recorded that? Like, that's some IRL, like, video game horror stuff. Like, in the video game, they like, carry around the camera, and then they, like, fall, and the camera falls, and the person, like dead and then they find the camera they pick it up they watch the recording is that what happened what this horrifying video was found on the man's phone it was the last video that he recorded before his death whoa 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 the the the, the tables have turned this is like factual information they should have brought up in the beginning because now i'm not really questioning much they did bring it up at the beginning. They brought up that they die. Why am I? Did I miss a lot at the beginning? So the clip store team tracks down the location, but they don't really find anything unusual oh, during no. their investigation. They're like, let's go to. So could it be that the man accidentally recorded real paranormal phenomena? And could this have somehow led to him losing his life in such a tragic way? Well, how do you lose Let his life? Know. What happened? Oh, that's so creepy. That is so creepy though. The Viaduct Tavern. Okay, the paranormal. What? The what? Wait, go back. The Viaduct Tavern. What the hell is a viaduct? Chat. Paranormal investigators Jeff, Phil, and Mark from the YouTube channel Ghost Pull, Tech Paranormal Investigation. Pull out Google right now. Investigated the notorious look up viaduct. What is that? Viaduct Tavern in London. Oh, it's the a name. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Don't look it up. Of years and was built just a few yards away from the site of the infamous old Newgate Prison, where thousands of criminals were executed. The tavern's third floor was once a brothel where a lady of the night named Kate tragically lost her life. With such a long and dark history, it's no wonder that over the years landlords, workers, and even visitors have witnessed terrifying paranormal activity. Nevertheless, the tavern has become a very popular local historical pub. The Ghost Tech team sets up several static cameras and begin their investigation on the third floor. It doesn't take long before the three investigators start to hear very strange sounds coming from the floor right above their heads. Hello? I can hear you. I can hear you walking. He's big chilling. There was a few footsteps on the floor above us. As I stand on the stairs to the full floor, I hear footsteps above me on the floorboards. Here is the audio taken from Static Cam 5, which is located up on the fourth floor. Okay.
A creepy sound of someone walking can be heard on the fourth floor of the Viaduct Tavern. The Ghost Tech team believes that they might be making contact with the spirit of Kate, the lady of the night that tragically passed away there long ago. Jeff, Phil, and Mark head up to the fourth floor to do a spirit like Lady of the session. Night, Loki sounds better what than Frost. What happens prostitute. next is downright creepy. If I knew, what do you guys think? Your full name. I could look in the newspapers, the old newspapers, and find out what happened to the person that did that terrible thing to you. So if I hold this out, and guys, yeah, so something just ran. Yeah. How are you just chilling up there with it? What'd be cool. Something's in that room. It just went past the window, and I've got it on film. Something went across that window. Oh, I thought someone moved again. <laughs> that was him. <laughs> asking questions, Jeff captures a dark figure quickly moving in front of a window, not once, but twice. Jeff immediately oh, alerts the team of what he's captured, but they can't find any explanation for the bizarre encounter. And that isn't the only time the team captures something unexplainable that night. Back on the third floor, the three investigators begin to hear strange disembodied voices. And then this happens. I'm kind of getting chills right now. There you go. Like, I That's literally, I like, hearing. have chills. I don't know why. The way they're setting this up is kind of... Kate, tell me your name. Your full name. We can find out. Find out what happened to you and whether the person that did it was caught and punished. Jesus. Hey there! There was someone that stood by me. Okay. There was someone that stood by, by me then. Oh, I don't know. That is the clearest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, calm down. <laughs> Mark nearly jumps out of his skin as he's he like sees standing right next to him. Oh no. Look. Why do you talk to mans like that? He's like, okay, calm down. Like, dude, just how it goes. He's like, okay, calm down. You're done. <laughs> I taught you better than that. What was that? There's no one there. However, when the ghost team reviews their recorded footage later, they realize that Mark actually did capture what he saw on camera. Oh, they had a camera somewhere now, else? it can only be seen for a split second when slowing down the footage. But as Mark spins around, uh, the unexplained face of someone can be seen standing right next to him. So could this be the ghost of Kate, the lady of the night who tragically lost her life inside the tavern? Or could it be the spirits of prisoners who were executed where the tavern now stands? You decide. Encanto. In Ghost okay. Hunter Idol from the YouTube channel Ghost23 sets out to explore a remote waterfall in the middle of nowhere and surrounded by tall mountains. Idol has been told that the waterfall is haunted by an environmental spirit known as an Encanto, a mythical being that has the ability to appear in human form. Idol is completely alone as he makes the difficult climb up the waterfall alone? with nothing but a camera. Not just the so hike, but to fast, see a ghost. With very little daylight left. I don't capture something truly chilling. If you sleep on your side, you, <laughs> that you hate your pillow. Chilly, and this is why. chilling, a pillow, the you chilling pillow. I like when my pillows are cold. Yo, what is that? Wow, wow, wow. He walked away. <laughs> Who are you? There is a steep drop below and a tall, unclimbable cliff above. It's almost as if it walked right into the waterfalls surrounding the mountain. So could this be the Encanto that is said to appear at the waterfall? Or something else? 
Tell me what you think. A cry for help. Yeah, tell me what you think down below in the comments. This next video is a bit of a mystery, as it was reposted to TikTok without a source or information. The video shows CCTV footage of a young girl as she walks around her home. What happens next is like something from a nightmare. A door looks like it reopened. Oh, it is opening. Oh, now it's closing. Like, aggressively. Oh, <laughs> I was like, it's going in there after? Or... She saw something? Oh, what the heck? Okay, well, what's with the laughing sound effect? Was that supposed to be part of the video or was that like added in? Lights suddenly begin to flicker, startling the young girl as she rushes for the door. But the door won't open. As she slams on the doorway, crying out for help, an ominous dark shape can be seen slowly moving towards her. One dark edge reaching out, almost like an arm ready to grab her. That's when someone, presumably her brother, comes to her rescue and opens the door for her to escape. Now, without a source, we'll probably never know what happened here. So, I ask you, is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide, off the rails. Stephen Kerner is out on a drive through the countryside of Minnesota when he spots something very odd. Uh, oh boy. What's the train? Uh, Just randomly going? <laughs> what? Well, that ain't good. Don't know who's running that, but I mean, yeah, okay. A small empty train car with an empty caboose slowly moves along the track, even though no one is driving it. Stephen is a little confused by what he just witnessed, but he just shrugs it off and drives away. But after posting his bizarre encounter on TikTok, someone spots something that Stephen didn't see. Running that, but I mean, yeah, okay. Please tell me I'm not the only one who saw that. This thing. What? Right here. What the f is that? Viewers are freaked out when they see an odd pale figure seemingly hanging out of the back of the train. Many believe the tiny locomotive to be a ghost train. And some believe that the train might be haunted by a spirit. And others just think it's a very odd occurrence paired with pareidolia. But what do you think this is? I just feel like if, like he would have freaked out if it was fake because he would have been like, oh no, I see something. But at the same time, it's like, he didn't react. Like, why was there a train running by itself anyway? I have so many questions. Okay, wait, what did I miss? Like, was it the time, did it say the time? Oh, a rough the ride. The user Jose Castillo and his friends often mountain bike after work on some wooded trails near the city of Oaxaca, Mexico. One evening after dark, Jose and his friends go out on a trail that they've taken many times before. In the dark? This time, things take. Okay, first off, I wouldn't really want to ride my bike, you know, on a trail, just because. I mean, that's just me, but at night? Terrifying turn. No, that's crazy. Jose's GoPro camera is recording when something happens that still gives him chills this day. Wait, what was that? Go back, Did turn you around. See it? <laughs> Someone or something appears out of nowhere and Jose barely manages to swerve around it. Kind of looks like a tree. Like down and pause, Do it again, the yeah. The figure appears to be cloaked, wearing a veil that's translucent enough that you can see what looks like a face. Uh, a very uh... disturbing face. Many viewers of Jose's TikTok believe that he captured the infamous weeping woman, La Llorona, a vengeful spirit of Mexican lore that mourns the loss of her children. But what do you think this is? 
let me know. Exploration gone wrong. Okay. Two friends decide to explore an abandoned industrial park at an undisclosed location in China. The site has been abandoned for over three years, and most of the entrances have been locked shut to prevent intruders and squatters. But this it's doesn't crazy stop there's the actually places like they that. Managed to find a way inside. It's like abandoned places just laying around. With like okay, theme okay. park. Oh, yo. <laughs> Why that guy zoom into his dumpy? They start okay. to explore the construction <laughs> floor by floor. That's when they spot something absolutely unnerving. Looks like he's about to square up with the ghost. He's like walking like a... He's getting ready to fight. Look at him. He's about to fight. He's about to throw hands. Yo, what was that? Yeah, wait, 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 go back. It's like a figure. Did you see it? Yeah. Someone appears to be sitting on a chair inside one of the empty offices. The camera like calls out to his friend and they quickly turn back and check out the room. What the But yeah, what there's the no one was there. That? What the Unwanted? Guess. Can we watch the dumpy part again? Um, you know what? Maybe. Unwanted guest. In this next creepy video, two police officers are alerted by an Airbnb homeowner who suspects someone has broken into her house. How's it going? Hey. What, what seems to be the problem? I, I left for a while. This is police footage. Home. The door is open. I think somebody broke in. The homeowner says the house should be empty, but is worried that an intruder might be inside. The two officers make their way into the house as their body cameras record the entire incident. Guys, this is police footage. Police, if anyone's here, make yourself known. Oh, no way. One of the officers is checking out the downstairs bedroom, and this is when things start to get weird. I'm like holding my breath. Anyone inside? Open your door. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot watch this right now. A loud bang can be heard, and at the same time, strange interference comes through the radio. The officer now heads upstairs, and his body cam starts to experience strange video glitches. What happens next is downright chilling. Oh no. Police, anyone inside, make yourself known. What? Is that a chair? Oh, it was a chair, I think. Oh, it was the chair, okay. I was tripping over a chair. That door just open. Uh -oh. I don't think he knows that the cam footage is doing that either. It's 
so much for it being clear. He's like, I'm out this bitch. What? Now, understandably, this police officer is done with this house. Two doors open on their own without explanation, and when the officer is about to go downstairs, the loud sound of charging footsteps or stomping can be heard right behind him. He swings around, but again, no one there. This footage was later released as the officer claimed to have experienced paranormal activity while inside the house. So just what do you think is going on here? Is this Airbnb haunted? Let me know down in the comments. An odd intruder. A woman in Jamaica steps outside to retrieve something from her car, but she doesn't know that an absolutely chilling event is about to occur. Yo. As the woman exits her house and walks towards her car, we can see some strange translucent shape charge out of the woods near her house and run right inside the front door. It had like mist now, behind whatever it. this is does not seem to be any kind of compression glitch. The woman in the video is perfectly clear, and also the figure approaches the light and still remains an odd indistinguishable mist. But is it supernatural? And if not, just what is this? As always, I leave it up to you to decide. Jerry. After three years of living a happy, peaceful life in their apartment in the United Arab Emirates, Zark, his wife, and son suddenly begin to experience terrifying, unexplained activity. This is number one. Shh. Let me just check. Y'all don't have a people? Oh, hell nah. They're opening like, if they're banging on the door like that, don't even bother opening that. Oh, it's the living room, okay. It's coming from the cupboard. The cupboard? Oh, shit. I was like the door. Could you please drop? It said no. Knocking, banging, and scratching. The family has a truly bizarre scare when one day they inexplicably find maggots all over their apartment. At least he asked kindly. Let me ask him about oh, okay, no, so fear or she would. He has phobia Zark explains worms. that he's a skeptic, but that he's become increasingly more alarmed by his son's unusual behavior. Oh, hell no. The young boy claims he sees someone named, quote, Jerry. Yeah, it's how I'm a move. Jerry isn't always friendly. Zark yeah, I know. and his wife don't believe the boy at first, but when one day he complains about Jerry again, they decide to check their CCTV camera and are shocked by what they find. If he's got a name, might as well just chalk it up and leave. Just take down the Spider-Man poster. Take those at oh hell no. Mommy, get the chocolate me. Needless to say, Zark and his wife now believe that Jerry might be something real after all. And whatever this presence is, it seems to become increasingly more aggressive. It's gonna be more aggressive? Wait, hold up. My bad. 
This is even telling me to get an eye blocker. This YouTube video go crazy. Holy shit. Someone get over there. What? Yeah. Objects around the house are moved and thrown, but nothing compares to what happens on another night while the family is fast asleep in bed. Zark is suddenly woken up by the unexplained sound of running water. He's always checking the time, like, is he for real messing with me at this time? <laughs> what did he say? He said, not today. It's five minutes early today. Well, five minutes early, it has a schedule. Okay, that's actually crazy. You're not leaving? You need to get out of there. Oh. There's a scooter. Alright, if it has a schedule, that's like, you just gotta leave. Just chalk it up. Like, it's its job at that point. I could hear it. Okay, so he said he could hear more water flowing. You got another sink? Extremely cold. The mouth breathing makes it more scary. Maybe that's why people mouth breathe when they're sweating at video games. Trying to intimidate their enemies. Their amenities? <laughs> what? Anemonemony. Find you anymore. Okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, this dude's scary. I'm starting to get goosebumps too. Oh yeah, something moved. Zark hears the sound of running water and discovers that both the faucet in the kitchen and the bathroom have mysteriously turned on by themselves. Zark then hears loud banging and the sound of someone running. He then captures a strange, small, smoke-like figure moving right in front of him. Zark is freaked out by what he has just experienced, so he checks his CCTV footage to see if anything else was captured that night. When he rewinds his footage back to just before the running water woke him, he is shocked by what his CCTV captured. So it's saying that the scooter goes towards the bedroom. Then it goes to the kitchen. A tall, translucent figure can be seen walking right beside a scooter that seems to move across the floor. Zark is now convinced that his apartment is haunted by something that he can't explain. Uh, yeah. Could this presence be what his son calls Jerry? Let me know what you think. That is all I have for you guys today. Please make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you aren't already. I'll see you guys next time.